Pure water, your pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. My name is Alford Brown, racehorse trainer at Cayman and Spark. I advise everyone to listen to the Open Gate Show. You'll get a lot of information. Have a great day. Good afternoon. I'm an ardent listener of the Open Gate Show. My name is Paul Tomlinson. It helps me a lot with my pick sixes and those kind of bets. I like to hear what Mr. Blair has to tell us about the horses. And it's very good. Five stars. Good afternoon. Welcome to July 16th. Open Gate Show analysis of tomorrow's race card on July 17th. 10 races, tough race card. Remember to adhere to the health protocols offered by the officials regarding the COVID-19. There are several types of COVID spread going on worldwide and social distancing, sanitizing your hands, as well as rehydrating yourself it's very important. If the COVID spread has escalated in the summer, which is on now, can you imagine later down when the winter comes? Well, we all have to unite and ensure that we are practicing what is necessary to limit the spread. Post time tomorrow, 12, 15, PM and it's the Hall of Famous Day. First race has 14 starters, four fives and up. Kramers, 150 180,000, will not earn 100,000 since March 17th. They'll be going on a minimum round course of five furlongs round over 1,000 meters round. This race is named in honor of Clive Evans OD. Clive Evans, Evans was a past groom president who instigated a lot for the grooms and is still well respected by that fraternity. Number one, Treasure tra tra Train. Three of her last four races were okay to suggest even this short sprint and inner post, she has a chance to give new connections a good run. Number four, Lady Carmen hasn't been a lady in her last three starts, but uh, the consistent presence of her rider, Jamal Patterson, suggests that something could be a good reason why Patterson is riding this horse so much. If you like her, okay, but I'm not interested. Number five, Paul Train won twice printing and dropped to this level from uh, an informed camp has to be respected for a top four spot. Number six, Lady Budget broke very slowly out the gates and that cost her the race on last, that was on the 10th of July, going four for long straight, close to be second, two and, a quarter, two and a quarter length to its a wrap only needs to break better from the gates to get into the Quinella here. Number eight, April Spirit should be able to close again. Seeing that run on last was uh, on the wrong course, unlike some of the fancied one who prefers the straight, April Spirit uh, did very well July 3rd, when five and a half furlongs was with the pace got slight interference approaching the three furlong point, uh, approaching the, 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 the one and a half furlong point rather, and ended up one and a half length, one and a quarter length second to Poker Star. Um, that was a very good run, and I'm expecting another good run from April Spirit. Number 11 Flying Bullet ventures on the curve now, when only one of his last seven starts was his worst on the turn. The 12 Prince of Statistics won effortlessly over this identical trip and class 
on the 13th of March, sometime now, when you're going five rounds round, winning by seven length, beating Lord of the Code and Jason Gold. Came back on the 17th of April and ran for 250,000 and was claimed by Ian Alexander. Um, Pretty Statistics should be the one to beat now, dropping back to this 180 level. Number 12, Pretty Statistics. Number 6, that's Lady Budget. Number 8, that's April Spirit. Top 3. Then, number 1, Treasure Train. Surely should be a part of it, at least in the top 4. And number 5, that's Powerful Red. Race number 2. This race is uh, a small field, well, not really, a medium field of nine horses, named in honor of David Scorcher McKenzie. David McKenzie, his family has done a tremendous lot for horse racing, and his brothers, trainers, and jockeys, and his mom was an owner and breeder, as well as she made colors for majority of the owners in her time. David Scorch McKenzie is respected by the young apprentices. They call him daddy, always there to try to correct whatever error he sees in his opinion that he has knowledge about. David McKenzie has retired from racing due to a eye issue and the Open Gate Show applauds this fine man who has won a lot of races at Caymans Park from way back then. This race for trails and up, it's a claiming race, 40 to 40,000, they go 1,200 12 meters or six furlongs, nine declared. Five horses coming down to this claiming tag in this race. The others are coming up. So be very, very careful and the form line ain't nothing much. Number three, Prince Samo, fit but up in grade, number four, buckle luck. The Open Gate Show welcomes new trainer, Mark Manessa, who has been in the game quite a while and will be starting his first horse in Jamaica. Number four, Buckle Luck. I can't base her form for a win, especially up in class. Number five, Baltisrol won once with three second place finishes at this distance in nine attempts there. Paper Light and if she can duplicate that run on the 28th of February at the 550 tag, when up with the leaders and finished second, three quarter length to Cartel and had Stanislaus eight lengths behind, Ballesterol should win. Number six, Miss Linda Ray, it's been a while, she hasn't stringed back to back good display. So that means she sorted out, could be in the top four could be the physically soundest horse in the race. She has to be respected. Miss Armstrong Princess has been running out the straight a plenty and new connection seems okay having her running at six furlongs tomorrow. Uh, she won on last but came back uncomfortable to the, on, to the winner's enclosure. Anthony Thomas was declared on two other horses here and number eight Bruce Wayne and number nine Ali were the other two papers that were, were given out but Storm Princess had the number one selection. Number eight Bruce Wayne plummets down to 450,000 claiming to, to, to run who well these horses were only run once this season of an eight month sojourn that was on the 21st of June for a tag of 750,000, going seven furlongs, got 14 to one, and uh, finished eight, 18 lengths behind Purple Wayne, um, Garinchka, Laser Light, and company. This distance ain't a worry. Apprentice Gregory has never won a race, but has been seen working plenty of horses of late for, for trader Rowan Matty. Maybe he and former stable mate from the newest camp, Bill Trithorol, will run the Quinella, maybe. Number eight, Ali, uh, strange trainer cash bird called thing, put this one so low in claim. Something that's a rarity for this trainer. Number five, but to throw from number eight, Bruce Wayne, 
Number six, Mithrindar, a very dangerous horse. Number seven, Storm Princess should be there in the lower order. Thirdly, name in honor of Dr. Clifford Bradford, a doctor who has been around for quite a while, very strict individual and knows his job, was part breeder and owner of the mighty Eros trained by Philip Fiani. Dr. Bradford deservedly is a member of the Jamaica Racing, Horse Racing Hall of Fame. This race goes to 700 meters of five and a half furlongs for children up, optional claiming 500 to 550,000, and native bred fives and up who never won four races, as well as imported five year olds and up who have never had three victories. 10 starters. Number one, another commander, a reason to claim four year old uh, Gelden, um, who returns to racing after two months respite for trainer Foresight. Thomas, trainer jockey team. Facing number six, ambassador on worse terms, but has potential to outdo these, even with 57 kilos, especially from this camp. The two Lord Ashton, interesting, he's here for 550, seeing he has not much a winning chance or a chance to even get into the top three or four at this short distance. So, why is he here? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Number three, Stanislaus, back with a trainer who knows him well, that's Winthrop Trin. He really looked in a very good condition, I must say, when I have seen this one a couple of times uh, since July. And for Big Paul, last three starts were out the straight and um, against horses that were suspect. Number five, Lightning McQueen. Always one of the good race when focused will be coming to run, but it won't be easy winning. Number six, Mr. Ambassador, well handicapped to fight this, this race out. Let's see what happens tomorrow for trainer Ryan Darby, who is dropping this one down in claim. He claimed his father 550,000 and ran him twice in 750, now back to 550. It's obvious that this horse is coming to run. Number seven city council takes a step down in the claiming ranks with no form to get me interested at least. Number one, another commander. Number six, Mr. Ambassador. Number three, Stanislaus. Number five, Lightning McQueen. Race number four goes seven and a half furlongs off 1500 meters. Uh, for chosen up the claim, for claiming tag eight hundred to one million dollars, nine were declared. This was in the honor of Groom Linville Linville Pickens McFarlane. Uh, this groom has been around for quite a number of years and has a lot of experience. As a matter of fact, he was one of the top groom for Trina Arthur Sharp. I remember a horse by the name of Persian Blue that he groomed, and his horse, you know. This uh, McFarlane's horses always looks good. He's currently an assistant at the Wayne Acosta Stable and has groomed some of Wayne's uh, top horses. Linville, Dix, Linville McFarlane, another who is deservedly into the Jamaica Race and Hall of Fame. Number one here in race four, Ron Kabir adores this, this, this approximate distance and is the one to beat if he can be beaten. Number three, Lala Diva has really stayed to close for a minor share. Number four, Garinchka, close well off the pace on last. So the 21st of June, going seven furlongs, was last, well, almost last at the four furlong marker and close together within the length. Second to Purple Wayne, who just recently won. So this augurs well for Garinchka. Uh, wasn't too comfortable returning to the Saglin era in that race. Uh, that was almost a month ago. Stable of Fitz Richards is hot, so beware. Number seven, Wilson was four and a half lengths to, to um, well, behind top shelf, who came out of that race and won. As number one, Ron Kabir to worry about. The Open Gate Show welcomes back veteran jockey Everton Miller to race riding. We wish him all the best of luck. 
Everton, good luck. I mean, Jamal Rajo, if it rains, it's a plus for this one. How to reproduce that display at, the, at this identical distance on the 21st of November when setting some teeth and spits, 45, 4, 4, half mile, 110 flat for six furlongs and winning in a time of 130 and 3 fifth by three and a quarter length beating legality and master of Hall, who is also here. If he can produce that, that, uh, this, that, that effort, it won't be a race. But if, if the word that is used to try and make uh, a balance in what people say, <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. I'm at number nine, master of all. Been running dismally since November 21st last season uh, when he finished third, four quarter length to Jamai Rajma. Wow, it's very interesting. I uh, wish I'd seen this horse recently to make an assessment, but you know, it's interesting that he and Jamai Raja me is meeting again at this trip. Capable horse, so beware. And trainer Gregor Forsyth can't be doing any better. Number one, though, Ron Kibera. From number seven, Wilson. Number nine, Master of All. Number four, Gorinchka. Number three, La La Diva. Race five. Five furlong straight, or a thousand meter straight. It's for native bred five year olds and up who've never won three races. 13 were declared. This race is named in honor of trainer Richard Zan. The Zan family goes way back into horse racing. And uh, I must say that trainer Richard Zan has emerged of one, as one of our top traders. Currently not doing so well, hasn't much horses of quality uh, and quantity. And uh, this breeder owner trainer, the Open Gate Show, applauds him and he deservedly is in the all of the Jamaica Racing Hall of Fame. All right, uh, turning starters, uh, did I say that? I think I did. Number two, El Gringo, first of two here for Trader Donovan Russell. Try the straight course, has speed, which is an asset for this route, but El Gringo will have to come firing out of all four legs. Number three, Nez Perse. I must remind you that Nez Perse uh, is a special Indian tribe who has uh, been the expert, as a matter of fact, who has been the, 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 the originators of crossbreeding horses to have those uh, different colors, the Appaluche, is it? Horses with, with spots and all different markings. On them and that good tribe, Indian tribe, uh, they're the ones who are responsible, they're the pioneers of that. Uh, this horse here broke well and last after been having some gate issues in his previous four starts. Um, his bit regular opponents should have a say in the top five if he's focused for that good run. My five bear boy last wasn't all that bad with female apprentice Natalie Berger on the, 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 the 5th of July, going seven furlongs, um, was thrown into stride and ran wide all the way, but still finished fourth. Two and three quarter length to he can dance, sweet surprise and Nurse Percy. Of course, both of those horses are here. It's capable of competing with these and with Omar Walker again on the call, should do well here. Number six, Casual Charm, back to a preferred distance and course and has speed. And with the expert handling of Panamanian visiting rider Dick Cardenas, Casual Charm could be a charm for her owner, which deservedly this gentleman needs to win races. Number eight, it's a beautiful day, can come any day for connections if focus could create a mild upset. Number nine, Starboard Flyer, shown good form since the start of uh, to this 2021 season. 
love this route and can factor somewhere in your lower exotic order. Mitten Black River, the other Donovan Russell horse here, ran well from an inside post and last. That was on the 12th of June, out this five furlong straight course and finished second by length. Uh, drawn on the inside post position number four behind St. Michael, Black River and he can dance has been changing stables quite often this season. Uh, I'm looking, well, I'm looking for a good run from this horse as I've seen him yesterday coming from a pool and he looks good. Not great, but looks good enough. Number 13, Sweet Surprise, Consistent Mare, whose two attempts out the straight were poor. However, she's a sorted out horse these days and should continue showing her good form. One of these should win. Number five, that's uh, Berry Boy. Number six, Casual Charm. Number eight, It's a Beautiful Day. Number 10, Black River. And to a lesser extent, number 13. Race number six, uh, packed field of horses, and it's a uh, very interesting race, race six, you know. They go out the straight, and there are 16 starters, and um, it's for choosing up, it's an optional claim race, 250,000, and the six year and up, who's never won four races as well, as Native Bread five year olds and up who are still men. This race is named in honor of Vin Edwards OC, trainer of Vin Edwards OC, a man, a man who breed, bred and owned horses, a past, pres past president of the Trainers Association, and um, a man who is still active with his wife, Monica Edwards. Uh, 16 horses are declared number one Cristiano, has only raised once in over a year, that was on the 23rd of January this season, went five and a half furlongs and ended up uh, scratchy after the race. Number two, Slice Stallone, I'm leaving Slice Stallone alone. Number three, Mama Cita faced a few nemesis as, and was the one to five favorite when last sent out by the little trainer jockey combo of uh, Gregor Forsett and Anthony Thomas on the 19th of June. That race was won by uh, Tans Tony K. Uh, Mama Sita ended up two and a quarter and fourth to talented Tony K. And the competitive, most competitive, the, the, well, the competitors here who are, who are uh, strong all ran in that race on the 19th of June, won by Talent Tony K. Who again is here? Number four, Chief of State, um, can still be competitive in for a low, a very low order in your exotic. Number six, Boss Izzy is quickly back. Number nine, Talent Tony K. Came off a sudden and used his back class to chance a useful set uh, of horses who are. Who most of them are still present in this race, going over this five furlong straight course. He was a bit off on his return to the winners enclosure, but he looked okay going and coming to the equine pool the few times I saw him after that last race. Number 10, Blue Attitude. Uh, he had one more who was in that June 19 race. She adored the straight course, and that race with Talented Tony K finished one and a half and third. Uh, had luminous power in front. Um, didn't look all that happy returning to the unsaggling enclosure, but that was almost a month ago and Blue Attitude could be reprogrammed for a better run. Number 11, Mark the Prince has it all to do. Number 10, Super Glitterman must not be underestimated, especially from trainer Michael Beecham's barn. Regardless, the last twice he came back uh, sore after the race. Number 13, just trick me, very speedy gallon who raced only once at five furlong straight in his last seven starts, which were mostly, which were all four furlong straight races. Has speed, but can't seem to hold it. Number 14, smart edition could get into your lowest order. Number 15, big dream. Uh, number three, Mama Theta was in front of this horse. In the last three times they met, as a matter of fact, B. 
the dreams, the last three starts were against Mamacita. I've been given a too much respite and looked to be a return horse and is well drawn, surely capable of fighting this out. I'll, uh, I'm selecting number nine, Tanzi Tony K from number 15, Big Dreams. Number 10, Super Glitterman, an outsider. Number 12, Super Glitterman, an outsider rather. Number 10, Blue Attitude, should be part of it. And number three, Mama Sita. Race number seven, name in honor of a great uh, man, that's Christopher Armand. The Armand family did really well for our local horse racing and surely uh, Mr. Chris Armand joins his dad into the Hall of Fame. Still active, but not really uh, visible, Chris Armand into our horse racing. All right, uh, this race is for imported trails and up who have never won three races, as well as native bred four trails and up who have never won four races. Seventh early the clear, they go two turns, nine for 25 yards or 1,820 meters. Um, seventh declared, I said that. Um, uh, uh, number one, seven flight, another multiple entry from the stables of Jason Acosta. Number two, Troll Sky going five kilos overweight for the services of Shane Ellis. One in the first time and last of 5th of July, going some furlongs, pulled away and won easily in a time of 126 and 247 furlongs. Kind of like how he won when the visor came off for the first time in five career starts for her. The three Princess Lizzie has two turn experiences and her two career wins were over this exact distance. Number four, Big Julie. Vic Jewel, rather, well bred uh, American. Um, well, this horse was, was born here in utero um, by Tabitha out of Blues in the Grass by Bluegrass Cat. This horse is well, it, it, it's, uh, it's a well bred horse, has length, has size, has stride. Um, Run the fastest for the time for this 820 meters uh, journey by a tree all this season. And when last race, winning effortlessly by 19 lengths on the 21st of July, beating um, Prince Marshall and T. Brady. Not much, but the manner of win was really something. As race only three times and seemingly has issues as he frequents the sea for the majority of his exercise program. Uh, there ain't much three holes who get a distance of ground and connections are cross-fingered. He wins and wins convincingly to enhance his derby chances. Number five, awesome choice, could get a low exotic spot on the board if coming from off the pace. Number seven, she's my destiny. I'm not sure this one will start tomorrow. Number four, Big Judy. Number two, Troll Sky, the top two. Then we have number three, Princess Lizzie and number five, awesome choice to fight out the minor places. All right, we go to what? Race eight, and that's a race that attracted 16 horses. They go six furlongs or 1,200 meters. This race is named in honor of Dr. St. Aubin Bartlett, a veterinarian who has been uh, in the game since the mid 90s and um, surely has established himself uh, always smiling and uh, he has been part of the of lecturing the trainers in the seminar that the, the Jamaica Reading Commission has as well as the apprentices who are at the apprentice school Number one, Mule Train, a debutant, born the 29th of April, will be caught by natural selection out of Golden Bridge by Golden Missile. Owned and bred by Robert and Val Chung. Their nephew, Spencer Chung, trains Aaron Trotty Rides. Earl Thomas, the groom, very well bred coat, who ain't much at present, but could develop into a better animal than what he is now. Number two, Curling Skywater, better for the run on last and should go closer tomorrow. Number four, another storm, surprised 
opening odds of 8 to 1, just a lot of 20 to 1 last week, but continues to show very, very poor form. Interesting, the attention that that all got last week. Number six, Rocket Lily, going beyond five and a half from this time, has speed, but holding it is an uh, issue. Number seven, Leo, ran second by four length to JJ, the striker, again, is weaker than these. Well, just a bit weaker. Uh, that was last week. Had slight interference then, and owner trainer Patrick Taylor gets the Nelson to ride this time. Uh, his other entry here, number 11, Brad Abdosh, will be written by stable jockey, Giovanni Patterson. Number eight, Artesia cutting back in distance uh, this time after showing good pace. In her last two starts, was all, well, it wasn't all that happy on a return to the unsaddening area on last, but came back six days after that race, relative to July, uh, galloped four fullings in 48 and four fifths by three fullings in 38 and a fifth. That was very, very good. Manai Ring Charmer get first time Tom Tai. And Robert Halladine, number 10, Aphelios, run okay enough on debut on the 3rd of July, going five and a half furlongs, finished four three and a quarter lengths to King Anthalo, turn on the light and diamond in the sky. Uh, was on the wrong lead, entering the straight and drifted a bit. I've been looking tighter since that last race, and I'll be getting first time Lasix. Good chance tomorrow. And I don't bother blush. Last week, fast speed for the first time in 11 career starts. Um, got beat by a short head to it's a boy. It's quick to back, and it's interesting to see how this horse performs tomorrow. Number 12, Slam Silano, another in that July 10th race, going six for long, got a lot of attention. I don't know why. Maybe he needed that race? Well, you can think that. Number 13, Balotelli, training okay. Number 15, Tim's account, came from a four month break to run her, to run her best race yet in nine career starts. of the 10th of July, going five for them straight, lost by a neck. Second to turn on the light. Uh, Tim's account, seeing that uh, she's focused, could give a good display again. Number 16, another. Always vigorous, another debutant here, born the 2nd of March, just on Philip by strike it while it's not out of glorious cause. Breeder Michael Bernard, owner Lloyd Davis, he bought this horse in a year to sale. The groom, Hiroshi O'Reilly. Uh, we'll need a few races before uh, we can see what value she has. Number 10, my selection, that's Ophelios. Number 8, Artisa. Artisha rather. Number 7, Leo. Number 15, Tina's account. Number 2, Carlin's car water. We go to the penultimate race, race nine, and um, that's the feature race. The Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame Stakes Trophy. That should be the Jamaica Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame Trophy. Check out KD's vehicle All headlamp of restoration. In her headlamps are fine sanded, buffed, and 9H coated should with be a two one year guarantee. Uh, Price starting at $4,500. Internal restoration and modification starts at $8,000. To make an appointment today, ready. call us at 876 They should automatically be given a trainer's license in Jamaica, of which they all wanted that status. That I can tell you. Our horse racing needs an injection of horsemen who will get new blood to better the sport instead of getting only punters. It's a damn disgrace how people who helped build our horse racing are sidelined due to gullibles who are who always see money, money, money. The Open Gate Show applauds all thoroughbred horse racing all of famous in Jamaica as well as worldwide. Horsemen are the backbone of any horse racing industry. Surely not businessmen who sees racing one way. 11 were declared children up, greatest stage, grade two. Number one, Rajon the pilot, Trina Pathod has four entries here. This horse, this five will be horse is bred, liquidity out of five magic by Alicia, whilst nine to five, limited the breeder, Rome the owner, O'Shane Wallace, the groom, Richard Dewey, rides for 
и ин пасар. Аз три стат yet well, I've treated this season and uh, uh, they were okay and one was a win but those were sprinting out the straight number two Duke a grey horse, five grey horse by Cachel Chico to play the Mac Bad by Bob a breeder Michael Bernard owner of the success farm who has another horse here Trader Gary Sobrati employed Tevin Foster to ride the groom Dwight Lawrence should be able to compete with these and should be coming a bit off the pace for a slice of the pie. Number three, God of Love, uh, a duo of entry for trainer Fitzgerald Richards. This five year old Bay Gell is bred at the gold by Shanda D by the Wildcat, Breeder Hamsteps Limited, Vincent Blaine, the owner of the groom Delaware Lewin, who has another horse here in stable mate number. 10, Patriarch. Uh, God of Love hasn't been beyond five and a half furlongs since last season. Now a fit horse, well, back to his fitness, has a very, very good chance here. He won at six furlongs on the 14th of November, going pole to pole, beating Truly Amazing and Jumbo Boy. Um, should be part of the top three. Number four, Awesome Stretcher, for your Bay Philly, by Awesome, of course, Bossy Gal, by Pan Arsenal. This US imported Philly is bred by Miller Racing. This is Success Farm's second horse. Entered in this race, female apprentice Natalie Berger rides for Tiger Chase and trainer Gary Sobrati, who surely is looking every inch of the money on his title chasing trail. Number five, Mahogany, for Chestnut Gelding by Sensational Slam of Meteorite by traditional breeder Clovis Metcalf CVOD. Owner, owners, P. Ellis, H. Pratt, T. Pragnell, and Kern Passard. Her husband trains Dean Dawkins gets the ride. 59 kilos, 130 pounds. Frank Spencer has two horses here. The lead groom, this is one. The other is number eight, Father Patrick. Top class Gelding, who's 59 in post, even with lightweight jockey, Dane Dawkins should not perturb this one much. Another of Impassad horse who frequents the sea, Mahogany, should, well, will be in the top three and is a really a good competitor and must not be taken lightly with this impulse. Number six, El Professor, six year old Bay Gellin by Casual Chicken of the Principal by Space Link, Breeder Clinton Roden, owner Jaws Racing, Keith Connell, the groom, the car, um, Patrick Lynch trains. Number seven, Eagle One, the Cardinals ride for Jason Dacosta, the groom, Leon Walker. This four year old Gellin is a US importer, bred astrology by Frisco Chair Leader by Raw. Elizabeth Muirhead, the breeder, Carlton Watson, the owner, one three of last five starts could get on the board as she seems very focused. Number eight, Father Patrick, five-year-old uh, Bay Gellin by Nuclear Wayne out of Late Appeal by Appealing Guy, Breeder Edison Chai, owner P. Ellis T. Pragnell, H. Pratt. They are part owners of Mahogany and making the other quartet of owners in this is A. Cool the target. Father Patrick, nicely weighted, very, very lightly weighted and well drawn in my opinion, looked very fluent on the 11th of July, going six rounds in one forty and two fifth, very, very dangerous contender here, this Father Patrick. Number nine, hour strain, six year old chestnut mare by the Screech of Mine or the Sweet Dixie Gal by Dixon Ban, breeder Bet Sir, Bet Bear rather, owner PJK team, groom Paul Anthony, another in Pathar training. Number 10, Father uh, Patriarch, six year old bay horse by Casual Chico, also electrifying by traditional breeder Elias Lord, owner Vincent Ben. Uh, the other one he owns here is number three, God of Love, the groom, Deroy Lewin, as I mentioned earlier. He also grooms God of Love. Fitzgerald Richards, the trainer, has number eight, Father Patrick, to overcome. And that 
say it all and this horse is winning chances will definitely be on the on the headlines so that i can tell you the milan overcraft evergreen 11 year old bay gelding by easy real thing out of royal pizzazz by royal minister breeder mark and susan waits owner elizabeth acosta mother of jason da costa the groom turns broomfield anthony thomas rides number eight for me father patrick over stable mate number five mahogany number three god of love these are the top three horses then you have number two duke and number four awesome treasure both from the garrison by the camp to fill the minor placing follow race race 10 and this race is a very interesting six 12 horses and this race is named in honor of Elias Root, a Barbadian businessman who has owned and bred horses in Jamaica and has won a lot of the top races including the Derby and the St. Ledger, a man who uh, must be respected must be respected and has done a tremendous lot for our horse racing industry. The Open Gate Show hopes he'll be re-energized sometime soon to get back into this beautiful sport of horse racing in Jamaica. The distance for this race is 10 furlongs or 20 meters and it's for nearly bred trios who have never won two races as well as imported children up who are still a maidens. Uh, number one, I and I link first of three for first of a three pump entry for trainer Jason Acosta, who has been starting a lot of horses and kudos to him. And I link bread to get the distance. Trainer Acosta has a 44% in the money average and has taken off the cheek pieces, which was not on when he won breaking his maiden easily. Uh, on the 23rd of uh, April, going seven and a half furlongs. Uh, if subsequent outings had the cheapest is on, it's off now. So chances are he could be part of your lower exotics. Step mate number two, Sir John, useful code who gets first time blinkers, has looked improved and has a good chance to outstay all here for this brilliant trainer, young trainer, Jason Lacosta. Number three, fake, ran four consecutive six furlongs racing. Well, all those races were were the only ones that he ran in, 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 in four races in his career. Uh, Brad to get this distance, and if it rains, which I doubt, it would enhance his chances because he's by Jamalis out of Fitzrover by Uncle Mo. Working okay, and surely could get on the, get on the board at good odds. Number four, Catalina, superbly bred filly, who was born here in utero. Don't know what went awry. But, you know, let's hope Connections can get this one back to uh, good form. Number five, Baton Rouge, raced twice so far in his career, both on the straight course. Get first time experience on the turn, but going 10 furlongs, very interesting indeed. This is another Jason Acosta trainee. And the six feet majesty will be going four kilos overweight for the services of Dave Nelson. Number nine, positive ID, broke his maiden at two turns on the 7th of June, winning easily, beating Kai Alexis by six and a quarter length. Kai Alexis is here, and uh, uh, we'll see what that uh, what will happen between those two horses. Number 10, Royal and Regal, uh, no, Regal and Royal, rather, interesting quote, was lots of scope. Um, he ran extremely well on the 8th of May in the city of Kingston, seven and a half furlong event for trios against uh, who against the top trios in miniature man who won. Well, actually finishing a dead heat with further and beyond. Um, Regan Royal was two and a half and third behind those. That makes him a very, very serious contender and possibly the horse they have to beat. Number 11, Kyle Excess, finally broke her maiden, uh, ran twice over going two turns and did very well. Chances are she could again perform okay for a place in, in the top five. Number 12, Burn Notice, ran very poor in the 2021 St. Ledger two weeks ago, 10 by 38 lengths. I always wonder how these officials measure uh, these distances, 38 lengths. Well, anyway, 
But not if that's one plus, in my opinion, well, two, I should say, very light, and gets back the services of Omar Walker, who uh, who rode his horse to his best efforts three times. So interesting to see what will happen. Uh, the bird ticket is still just ground. And if he have it, if he have any chance in the Derby, he has to run very well here. Number two, Sir John to upset number ten, Roland Regal. Number twelve, Bird Notice. Number three, Fake. Number nine, that's positive ID. I'm sure you will experience the hot weather, humid weather, and of course you should know, staying rehydrated is very very key. If you have not tasted the experience of having pure water, Jamaica's pure pride bottled water, then you're missing something. I can tell you, whenever, wherever you go and you see the bottled water, pure water, ask for it, taste it, and you can bet that you will love it. Smooth, taste, refreshing, hot or room temperature. If you don't see that the supermarkets, shops or food outlets, ask for it. If you go back and it's not there, make sure you demand it because I can tell you, you're missing something, especially in the summer heat. Take care. We tear down to the Jamaica Derby in a few weeks' time. And, you know, I'm asking you to be very careful. It's not how you drive. It's how the Ottoman drive. So keep your eyes and ears looking out and listening. This is Colin Blair wishing all Open Gate Show fans all the best of luck and all the blessings this weekend. Tell your friends to subscribe on YouTube for the Open Gate Show. Their interviews, previews, and of, and of course, analysis for the race meeting in Jamaica. Okay, remember, wear your mask, keep social distancing, sanitize your hands, and drink pure water. Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. Greetings everyone. This is George Osang listening to Open Gate Show. Number one, take a listen. Hello racing fan, this is Emila Bimbo Rodriguez. Listen to the Open Gate Show with Colin Blair, giving you the latest tips and reviews on the horses. Big up the number one show.